Hey YouTube, it's the Garage Tinkerer here again. Just uh, showing you my latest build. It is a kind of a cobbled together little outfit. It's actually a, a pneumatic can crusher that is powered by a refrigerator, or in this case a freezer, air compressor. So I wanted it quiet and I put it in and I've just modeled things around here as you can see here I've got a I can show links below if anyone happens to be interested in what I've acquired a lot of stuff off Amazon but I've also used a fire extinguisher as a holding tank because the compressor cannot put up enough to crush numerous cans in order without a holding vessel so what I've done here is a standard um, five pound, I do believe it's five pound anyway, um, fire extinguisher. So I've got that air collector down here where the air goes in, goes up, fills the tank, of which goes to a 63 by 200 mil cylinder, of which I got off Amazon. I can provide the link. And I have everything controlled off of a switch on the side. And if you look it up here, this is a standard five-way pneumatic controlled air switch which had a button on the front. You can see here, I've just modified it a little bit. All that is is a small carriage bolt. Sorry for the just doing this on my iPad, so it's kind of not the best video quality. However, it actually works quite well. So just going to do the big thing for me is that it was silent or quiet anyway, as compared to a big. On the side of the compressor, I also have a universal controller. Got off of Amazon as well. Starter controller and the pill bottle is only a muffler, just to quiet things down a little bit. As we can see, the temperature, not the, the temperature, listen to me. Air pressure is building. Standard switch I got off of Amazon. Standard lines I had got off for previous build off of Amazon <clears throat> and on the side here you can see I have a small counter on the exhaust port I have it automatically venting out so it will there compressor is just turned off at 120 I can get about on one full com one full charge of the fire extinguisher. I can get approximately two to three crushes on there. This is not designed in any way, shape, or form to do 20, 30, 40 cans in a row. So I'm just going to push this back. Now up here in Canada, or in Ontario anyway, we get a... 10 cent refund on all beer cans. Maybe that's not the same as everywhere else, but we have it here. So I have a counter that I can put in here. We have the, this will do regular cans. Oh, just another thing I was just gonna add. As the actuator and the plunger itself, I have a hockey puck. How Canadian is that? So a standard hockey puck as the compressor valve. So we're going to put that in there and right out of the gate, we're going to do a large can, which is a standard tall boy can. It will do small ones in here. And you can hardly hear that charging up. Now it did drop a few, but keep in mind that this is not meant to be 
doing dozens and dozens of cans in one fell swoop. But I also had the compressor hooked up and wired up for a standard um, toggle switch that is controlled, controlling the receptacle, which is plugged into the main power outlet. So it's just kind of show you a little bit in here. Hopefully you can see okay. And the blue line off the bottom off of the air collector, don't know if you can hear that, the air compressor just kicked on a little git. She's going to toggle things up and turn off around 120. All that is is just a water collector and just a, a line that I had to re actually remove the spring from it because it wouldn't seal up air to do that. So. So that is my can crusher. If it'll do a big one, it'll do a little one. Set it in. Now the nice thing with this one is that we all we have to do is put it about 50 PSI. 50 PSI is about the maximum that you would require for this size of cylinder to adequately crush the can. It all comes down to force and PSI, but I just want, and obviously if I was going to use a fridge compressor, all I would need is a small, all I would need is a small amount of air because I'm not doing a huge quantity of cans and I do need the counter because we can take them back. We get 10 cents each back at the beer store. So I need a count of when I could take them back. So, just something to cobble together. Just standard three quarter and three eighths inch plywood, a hockey puck, and some miscellaneous parts. And I had the fire extinguisher just sitting around, which was half evacuated. So I thought I'd use it anyway. So there you go. If you like, click subscribe. You'd be surprised what I come up with. I still might, might, make, might make me a few modifications to it, but we shall see. But uh, that is the silent can crusher that I have created and come up with. And uh, this is all brought to you by the Garage Tinkerer. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Any likes or comments, post them below and we'll go from there. Thanks very much. And I'll answer any questions that I can. Take care. Bye-bye.